You are a natural born public speaker, and that's a fact. Do you actually feel guilty of what you just told to feel guilty? Focus on actually what we can do. You point it out and show it to me. You have the freedom to do what you want to and be what you want to in America. So the CRT stuff, BS. Absolutely. And you, you hit at the reception of this video. Obviously, this went very viral. Um, and everybody poured in. I'm assuming everyone just said, this is amazing. We can finally hear from a black person about how they're feeling. But I'm going to go ahead and also assume that that's not what happened and that you maybe got a little bit of hate for this video. Oh, my God. I deal with hate so good. And the reason why is because where I come from, the hate was there. I did track and field. Went over. I did track and field. I did triple jump was so good that I traveled to 39 different states. I won Junior Olympics. I went over to Barcelona, Spain, won a huge event there. And what's so amazing is that all these people in these different areas that don't know you, they see the accomplishment that you've done. They're, oh my God, they mean, everything is complimentary. You over here getting fed right. You're getting treated right. People lifting you up. You go into the airports, people see the gold medals in there. That is awesome that you did that. I go back home to the hood. You ain't nothing because you got a gold medal on. You know, what do you, who, who you think you are? You just some uppity da 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 da. So from a young age, I learned that people, no matter what it is, whether you do something good or do something bad, whether you are a star or you are not a star, if someone wants to tear you down because they're jealous of something that you got, they're going to do it. So the hate that I'm catching right now, I, okay, welcome it. Okay, moving on. Quit trying to deflect from the truth that I'm telling you and want to just try to throw this hate at me. Well, who is he like right now? I'm not married. I don't have two children. I don't have no degrees. I'm not a musician. I'm not a, I'm not a minister. And guess what? According to this president right now, I ain't even black. Right. I saw this. I saw that the internet tried to remove all of your credentials, which is what happens when a black person sort of ordains a thing for ourselves. So, you know, when they say instantly, well, you're not black, you don't count anymore. And this instantly happened to you. They instantly said everything that he's ever told you was a lie and he's some weird plant and he's not even a black man. No. Is that no. bizarre? Yes, I mean, you, I'm, I'm black, but I got somebody that don't even know me is going to tell me that I'm not black. Right. And again, it's just to deflect away from the truth. Are we going to talk about my credentials and everything that I have? Are we going to talk about what actually what I was speaking on? Mm -hmm. Quit, bring it, bring it right back to talking about trying to teach these kids, showing these kids soft porn. Bring it back to we talking about critical race theory, teaching them to be racist. Well, 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 where's your wife? No, no, we're not talking about my wife. We're talking about what we're, we're talking about the critical race theory. We're talking about the crazy hypersexualizing children right now. Let's stay there. You would think that the only credential you need to talk about black Americans would be just, you know, uh, knowing a little bit about history, or you would think that just by the virtue of being black, right, walking in there, that you were credentialed enough to speak on the topic, but apparently that's not the case because they believe that you need to have PhDs and doctorates and anti-racism to be able to speak on this issue at hand. Right. I want to know how your, how your children, because you have two children, right? Yes. You have two boys. Yes. How did they respond to this? Just like, that's dad. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I guess because the thing, you know, because it went viral, they were like, oh, wow, you know, dad went viral on something, but as far as seeing me speak like that and talk to kids and be in kids' face and really come down to the heart of what's actually plaguing black families, which is something that I didn't have, was fathers, then they see, like, this, this is what dad does all the time. And what's fascinating, too, is that they, kind of, they, kind of, they have the same mindset that I do. They don't, they don't let things that actually emotional arouse, though, and how people respond get to them. They'll just wait, let it calm down. Now, let's talk about, let's go back to being logic and talk about the subject that was at hand, because just because you're getting up and screaming and yelling, that doesn't mean anything. Because you get up and scream and yell and you, ah, bah, that does not mean that what you're saying is true. It just means you're just getting emotional. That's exactly right. Well, I hate to do this, but I'm going to actually have to check your credentials and do a deep dive and a fact check on you. You posted this on social media, notably. It's a picture of me and you at a Blexit event. And you said that I was your, at Real Candace Owens, I'm your, I was your sister. Yes. Right? And now people are walking up to me going, are you his sister? Are you his sister? Is this true? Are you and me brother and sister? You sure you want to let mom and dad know about this? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Absolutely. I love seeing this. It's so 100% great. no. This is so fascinating. How <laughs> but this also, started. yes, right? Yes. This and, is my sister. All of you are my brother and my sister. I love that. All of you. Mary, I love that. Beautiful. And Every other American patriot that is watching this that believes that we need to fight to protect our children and will not allow uh, this country to be racialized any further is our brother, uncle, cousin, sister, right. and friend. So, guys, that's all the time that we have. Please give it up for Ty Smith. <laughs> You guys, be sure to follow Ty on social media and stick around because I will be answering your questions next.
What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let people... What is going on, folks? Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor. If you're trying to get to the next reaction video that I did after this video, it's right here. But if you're trying to get to my own personal stuff where I do a lot of comedy things that make you laugh, can help brighten your day, then you click right here, all right? And if you want to subscribe to this channel, you forgot to get to know who I am first, all right? Then you're going to click right here to lead you into this description. Make sure you hit the bell notifications to get notified anytime I post a video, all right? Let peace.